Hi and welcome everybody. Today we have another test server session and there is a lot of stuff to cover. There's almost too much. Um, I really wish Pixonic would slow down just a little bit. Um, we just got a new mothership. For example, here on screen, there's a new mothership. Um, anyways, so uh, this is, we're gonna jump right into this. Uh, there's the setups already done. I did that ahead. Um, so we're just gonna go through stuff real quick though. Um, this is the roulette. Here's a description. Um, yeah, you know, the description's kind of not complete. Um, so, yeah, I don't know. Um, I'm not quite sure what it's supposed to be doing. Um, looks like it does a little bit of damage and there it is at the bottom. After the ship is activated, a zone is formed around the enemy robot in which corrosive nanobots spread. Woo! That's right, it's supposed to apply a rust effect um, and a DOT, the damage over time. So that's that. Um, and then there's a new turret. And just so you guys see, I'm gonna use the lifesaver turret, which is, you know, in the current event durability extender which was the previous event and then now we have this new one called the oops clicked on the wrong one because there's no image there my finger doesn't go to it oh oh here it is so i did click the right one why does it go to the other one i don't know but the test server is weird today anyways uh, so here it is a positive energy recuperator um Turret increases the robot's movement by, they don't know how much yet, looks like they haven't decided. Uh, instantly removes the effects of lockdown, freeze, slow, and grants long-term immunity from them. So that sounds pretty good. Um, I like that. So uh, let's jump out of here. Jump out of here. Let's go to our hangar. And then I think everybody knows about the new robot. Uh, or maybe you maybe you don't know, but there's been a lot of guys already talking about it on YouTube. So uh, this <clears throat> it's the Lynx, um, and here's a description. Uh, it's from Yandy. Uh, the ability is Ferocity. Uh, gains speed, goes into stealth, additional weapon that can instantly destroy. So it's the Exterminator module that we were against them bringing as just a module a few months back, maybe six months ago or something like that. Now it's this robot's special ability. I'm not too thrilled with that, but we'll see how it works. Um, looks like some of the stats are undecided and it also has a force field, um, which I think is similar to like the Nether and the Seraph. Uh, all right, so that's the new robot. There's supposed to be new weapons, but I can't find them. Looks like they have taken them off uh, the test server. So I scrolled through earlier and I can't find them and they're not in the authors section. So maybe something's up with them, but they introduced a new close quarters combat weapon. Um, it's like the steak and the there's there's three there's the heavy medium and light but they're not here so this is how i uh outfitted uh i'm gonna run all five just so i can get some experience with them um different weapon combinations different modules and we're gonna run the ether titan oh one more thing new drone see i told you there's a lot of stuff today so this is like a uh, death mark, automatic death mark. So 350 meters, anything within that. Additional damage. Every kill you get more speed. So it's kind of like the armadillo with the defense points. 
an on kill fix. It should be interesting. And I'm using it on all of them. So once again, just to kind of try to get some experience with it. So we're gonna do maybe, you know, the plan is to do two games here. Um, if they're not good games, then I may add one or two as needed. So let's jump into a game and see how things go. And I'm not gonna do the extermination today. Uh, that should be coming out on the live server pretty soon. So I'm not gonna mess with it here. It's taking long. Oh, here we go. Here we go. I thought it was taking a long time, but it seems to be okay. So we got a team death match. Uh, not my favoriteest. Uh, let's do the robot that has the most range. I love how nobody has the new robot. Everyone has got regular stuff. It's great you guys are here to test it out. Look at my wheels. My wheels are like... Uh, People are crazy people. Crazy people. Stupid Loki. This is uh, not that fun at the moment. I feel like this bot's kind of slow. And why is my shooting out of... Uh... Yeah, whatever. Um, let's try this. This uh, this one seems to be pretty good. This uh. I would have had that guy if my, uh... Need my stealth, people. There we go. So uh, this is gonna be, uh, I think, pretty good, at least with this uh, weapon combination. I'm not sure how much of it is due to the, uh, that executioner module thingy, but, um, and you notice my, oh, there goes my mothership. I did not, so I didn't even notice that it was available. Uh, 
<laughs> I got the uh, ether with the executioner module. So, uh, yeah. And what's this guy running like a Loki or something? Kind of ridiculous. All right, well, uh, well, there's someone over there. Let's go back, guys. Go back. Come on, everybody off my head. Off my head, please. Uh, that's quite a bit of shield I got there. That guy did not play that Sharanga very well, did he? All right, well, that's one game. So uh, this particular build I thought was very effective. Of course, it's hard to judge after just one game, now, even though I only finished fourth. <laughs> uh, I guess because out of that executioner module, you know, you, you don't have to do a lot of, the guy just has to be almost dead for it to work. So that makes sense, right? I mean, I didn't do a lot of damage, but I got a lot of kills because I got there right at the end and no one else had this robot, right? They all had other robots, older robots. So it makes sense that I kind of came in and cleaned everything up for them. Interesting. All right, let's see if we can get into another game here. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and go with this guy first. I know this map's a long range map, but uh, I did not like that uh, decay version. So we're gonna kind of just scooch on down. So I believe I get speed with this, right? which can get me, oh, I didn't get to the beacon in time. What? That's ridiculous. All right, I've got my ability. We're gonna cruise our way down to here and see what happens. This is a shell. Yeah, I didn't play that too well. Um, I guess that's fine. takes a little too long for the ability to come back maybe that's a good thing otherwise I do think especially with this executioner module uh, it's 
gonna be pretty strong. Man, slow though. This is supposed to be like one of the fastest robots. I thought I would kill him, but uh, I don't know. Um, I'm not quite sure how it's supposed to work. And man, it's so slow. I know it's not gonna be this slow on a live server. timing's just bad every attempt has been a waste Well, I don't understand why he's not being blinded. Um, yeah, I don't know. That's uh, server maintenance. Look at that. It's over. Well, so that kind of uh, wraps it up, I guess. Uh, I don't know if we get a really good idea from much of this. Um, I thought that Talon build was pretty good. 
but we'll have to see. I'm gonna have to probably try it again next weekend. Uh, this is just kind of like an introduction. Anyways, I uh, hope you guys uh, learned something. Uh, you know, and if you guys need to jump on test server yourself and give the stuff a try, make sure you give uh, Pixonic your feedback, okay? Uh, take it easy, talk to you later. Bye for now. Bye.